I spent a long time writing these vows. I've had them for years and years and added and subtracted. They say fools rush into love, so we must be pretty darn wise because it took us 10 years to get here. This is truly the purest love a person can feel in their lifetime. We've been blessed to grow up surrounded by strong relationships and love. From these, I've learned that true love is unconventional, unconditional, and unfaltering. We've learned so many things through our time together, and the biggest thing we need to appreciate is the groundwork that this life has helped lay out for us. Through communication and love, we can conquer all. This is the biggest lesson that we've learned and can always fall back on. I'm confident that I can say that our love is a perfect example of those three pillars. From our first few dates over Skype, to moving across oceans for one another, to living together and challenging the norms and expectations of everyone around us and society as a whole. Our love has been unconventional. When it comes to unconditional love, things like getting through school to the countless jobs, businesses, and dreams that have come and gone, you've always loved me, supported me, and guided me. You've been my stronger side and my safe haven. You always are there to help me weather any storm. You've never questioned our love, even at the hardest and most challenging times. That's how I know our love is unconditional. When it comes to the final pillar of love, the unwavering, unquestionable, unfaltering love, you're my biggest cheerleader, supporter, and guide. What we have is true love, and I vow to nurture it with constant communication, understanding, patience, and the overuse of the words themselves. I love you. You often ask me to tell you why I love you, and you chuckle at my generic responses. Simply put, I love everything about you. I love you because you challenge me, because you're my greatest teacher, because you don't judge me or make me feel self-conscious. I love the way you scrunch up your nose and your infectious laugh. I love that you are a safe haven that I can retreat to in a dark and often challenging world. I love how you stick to your opinions and never falter from what is right how you defend and honor all the people in your life, how nurturing and giving you are, but most importantly, I love you because of exactly who you are. You are the one that I can open up to and the one I can be myself with. I, I belong with you. You embody all that is good in the world. You've helped me turn into the man I am today. I vow to never take you for granted, to never go to bed upset, to love with all three of those pillars and embody them thoroughly. I vow to make you the happiest woman as you've made me the happiest man. I vow to you and to all, all of our friends and family that I will continue to live this dream with you and make you wonder if this really is reality. Benjamin Brian Beck. It took me a while to get here. As you know, when it came to marriage, I went to a place of fear and skepticism. However, last year, when you asked me to be your wife, I didn't say yes. I said, of course. There was no other answer because being your wife is without a doubt the easiest decision that I will ever make. Marriage is one of the biggest commitments that one can make. Such a strong commitment scared me a little because the world conditions us to never marry your first love. But as the days, weeks, months, years passed, my love for you never fizzled. It only grew stronger and stronger. We haven't grown apart, but rather we've grown together, laughed together, learned together, and taken all that life has to offer together. There is no one I want to take on this world with more than you. There is no one that I can count on more than you. You bring joy into my life instead of pain. You bring peace into my life instead of uncertainty. And you are my safe haven, not my battlefield. You are my rock, my fairy tale man, and my family. Your smile lights up my whole heart. Your eyes are my favorite blue. 
and your soul is my favorite thing in this whole world. So, I vow to always appreciate the little moments we share, and I promise to give you all my time, attention, and to bring joy into our life. I vow to know you deeply and intentionally as my husband and as my best friend. I vow to communicate how I'm feeling, even if it's really tough for me. And I vow to never bottle things up until I explode. I vow to ask for forgiveness when I don't want to. And I vow to always forgive you when I don't want to. I vow to never stop growing alongside you. And I promise to support you in the many, many job changes I'm sure you'll make <laughs> until the right one sticks. I vow to never be the person that holds you back from your big dreams. And I vow to be your biggest cheerleader when you come to me with a crazy idea. I vow to fully commit to you, to commit to your trauma, your unconscious beliefs, your coping mechanisms, your communication patterns, your ego, and your inner child. I vow to always honor you as a father to our future children. And I vow to always be a team in everything we do in raising a family together. Lastly, I vow to always let you be your authentic self, and I promise to honor and respect the person that you are. Ben, you're my favorite person in the whole world. I really can't wait to see what life brings us. The good, the bad, we will always be in it together. We have been waiting for this day for a long time, and I'm so excited for the memories that we will make. But I think my favorite memory of this day will be that you chose me and I thought I'd never stop choosing you.